Hey guys, my name is Gabe, and this is episode 28 to Let's Make Rust. So in this episode, we're going to be basically, we're going to kind of be redoing our um, slot movement a little bit, our item movement, because it, it's kind of choppy in the last video, and we're just doing this for convenience sake. Um, I promise next time, <laughs> next episode, we're going to make it so that when we go to another slot, the item will actually go there. I know I lie to you guys a, a, a lot, <laughs> so just quote me on this. Next episode, you will see items change to their next slot that you put your mouse over. Also, as you can see, um, when we open the inventory, um, our camera doesn't move anymore, so that's great. We're going to be doing that today. Um, so yeah, uh, enjoy the video. Alright, so to get started, uh, we're going to do something that kind of might frustrate you a little bit. Um, we're actually going to be transferring everything kind of from our slot script here we're going to be transferring a lot of this into a new script because this system doesn't make any sense and for our item child we, we kind of want to have a separate script for that so that things just get a little bit easier in the end so let's start out by making a new c-sharp script and i'm going to call this something like item object so item obj that'll be fine and we'll open that up it should say reload all once once that opens Okay, there we go. And you hit reload all. Okay, great. And I'm gonna remove all this. And we're just gonna go here and I'm gonna put my slot kind of on the side here. Uh, actually, no, I don't like that. Um, let's see, I just wanna kinda, I'll put these side to side and item objects is here. Okay, I'm gonna remove everything but these two scripts. Okay, so we're gonna take from slot and we're gonna put some things in here. So, things that we are going to have to remove is things like is select. Do we need is selected? I don't think we need is selected. Yeah, we don't. Okay, that was for something else. I was testing something. I don't know if I recorded that, that I added is selected. That was actually for something else. Um, on end drag, we don't need to do this. We don't need this drag stuff. We don't need this. We don't need any of this on drag we don't need this actually wait 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 wait, wait. hold up we might want to take some of this and put it into the inventory object script or the item object script so i'm going to take on drag and on end drag and on begin drag i'm going to copy these i'm just going to throw them in here and we're going to get problems i understand so we're going to implement a few things so we're going to do i on drag wait whoa, what what was it called um oh i pointer okay, so i pointer not i pointer what am i doing wrong here right <laughs> we have to implement our um our event system so event what was it unity engine event system okay there we go we should have i on drag what am i drag handler okay there we go so on begin drag, on drag, on end drag. So instead of doing item child dot, we're just gonna remove item child and we're gonna make this just transform. Um, let's see here, we don't need this. I don't think, wait, hold on, hold on. I don't know if we're gonna need this stuff. We don't need get item child anymore. So we're not gonna need to loop through anymore. We don't need this, we don't need that. And if what is null what is null okay we're gonna remove this stuff for now transform that set parent start parent we're gonna have to make a start parent so just like we did in the other script we're gonna make a start method and make a transform here called start parent and start parent is equal to transform dot parent dot parent I believe I believe start parent start parent is just our transform Yes. Okay. No, it's not. It's transform.parent. Because the way we were doing this was we were we were kind of making this a child, which we don't want anymore. And the whole slot script was just controlling the whole thing, which is ridiculous, and we don't want that, and it's disgusting, and um, yeah, all those things. So I'm going to remove these things. We don't need these drag handlers anymore, because we're not using it anymore. Okay, so now our slot script is exactly the way it was in episode 25, I believe. 
and we just moved everything over into here. Star parent, I did something wrong. Oh, star parent. All right, sounds good. Here, star parent. Okay, so hopefully this works. Let's just kind of analyze this. Okay, so we have our star parent. Once we begin dragging, our transform that position is going to be uh, the position, set new parent. Um, okay, wait, hold on. Transform that parent dot parent. So our. Okay, you know what? Let's just see if this works. I don't care. Um, I'm gonna go to our prefabs here, inventory, and we have item here. And I'm going to load up here our item object, and I'm gonna move this up because it's a little neater. And we're gonna hit play. So, let's see what happens. Okay, any day. Okay, so we could see we have an inventory. We hit P. Let's hope we don't get errors. Okay, we don't have errors. And okay, I expected this not to work because we have our. Um, wait a minute. No, that wouldn't make sense. Wait, blocks raycast. Hold on. Hold on just one second. Blocks raycast. Do it again. Yeah, okay, so that was that was our problem. We had um blocks raycasts off. So now we have to have block blocks raycasts on. I feel like okay, yeah, what are, we're gonna have to have blocks raycasts on. So now when we start to drag an item, you can see we're getting that same error that we had before because our parent is incorrect. So now we're going to have to do dot parent again. So we're doing dot parent three times. So now if we do this, this should hopefully work exactly the same. No, it doesn't. Um, something is happening. Let's see here. I, I don't know what is happening. So transform that set parent to this new parent on drag. On end drag, we're gonna set our parent back to our start parent, which also didn't seem to be working. So now, now if we try this again, so if I have an item here, start to drag, start to drag it. Excuse me. Um, it's going behind everything. I don't know why this is happening. Why we fixed this the other day or last episode. So where is it right now? Okay, it's still inside of slot. So we want to get it into here so it should be working transform dot set parent transform dot parent dot parent what if we do transform dot parent no that won't that doesn't make sense that won't work yeah okay <laughs> good I'm happy that didn't work because that would would not make sense okay so hold on uh, let me figure this out and I'll explain once I figure it out, this is really strange. It should be working. Dot parent, dot parent kind of makes sense. Anyways, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Okay, so I figured out the problem, and it's kind of ridiculous. I I knew it was going to be ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, we have a method here on begin drag, but we don't know that we're kind of overriding it. It just thinks we're making our own method here. So we have to implement I begin drag handler, which was not implemented. So... The, the, the way I found this out was I was debugging the parent name and I wasn't getting the debug and I was, you know, kind of confused. Why am I not getting the debug? And then I put it in on drag and it was working and I'm like, why is it working in on drag and not on begin drag? That is because I simply did not implement the I begin drag handler, which is entirely my fault. Thank you, stupidity. I'm going to remove that debug and we're going to try this again. And if it doesn't work, I don't I don't know what to tell you yeah okay um it's kind of working so yeah okay I see I see what's happening so on end drag okay that's because we didn't implement on end drag either so I on end what was it I end drag handler okay so we reset everything once we stop dragging hopefully that will work uh, take that out. Okay, I think we're setting one parent too many. Transform that parent. Will that work? Probably not. Just 
My luck. Yeah. Okay. So um, works halfway, just a little bit, and then we do transform dot parent dot parent, and now it works. Please. So sort of. So sort of. Um, I think we. Ha yeah. Okay. So I think I know what the problem is. I think we're gonna have to do something with ignoring the um, the item layout. So I believe uh, I forgot what it was called. Let's see. Um, let's see. UI um, canvas. I believe it was something in here, canvas scale or per, no, okay, that's something completely different. And I need to remove that, now I have to remove canvas. Okay, so I forgot what it was, but there's something that completely ignores the, um, the, the layout of everything, which is what we're going to want to do for our item. So um, I'll be right back, let me just figure that out as well. Okay, so I figured it out. It is called a layout element. So if we go to layout element, and then we have ignore layout. So hopefully this will work. I really hope it does. Okay, so great. It does work. Everything works perfectly fine, exactly like we wanted it to. And we are also going to have to fix our block raycast issue because we have that issue again. So um, we're going to make it set while we're dragging. We're going to not block the raycast. So this is going to be taking care of it uh, inside of here. So we're going to do a private await. Oh we might have to implement using Unity Engine.ui. So we're going to have to implement that, and we're going to create a private uh, canvas group. So private canvas group, and this should be called. Um, okay, yeah, just can't, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing right now canvas group and on begin drag we're going to um, disable uh, block raycast can't type today canvas group dot lowercase v c canvas group dot blocks raycast is equal to false and then we're going to do the same thing for up and end drag we're going to do here enable and it's going to be true okay so now if we hit play and we hit p i can't open my inventory okay there we go get an error because i did not make an instance of it common mistake so canvas group is equal to get component canvas group. So we're going to now find canvas group. Okay, great. So now if we hit play, just want to make sure I'm still recording. Okay, great. I did not mean to open GeForce experience. So now if we hit P and add our item and move this around, yay, we could see everything is working totally fine exactly as it was last episode. Um, everything is working exactly the same. Now the only difference is, is that things are going to be way more convenient, way easier to handle because we just kind of converted everything that had to do with I the item object into a separate script. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. I guess I just kind of felt crazy and I just want to do something cool. So I don't know, that was retarded. This is the better way to go about it. Just do what I did and you'll be good. Okay, so um, we're not going to exactly get to switching to the next slot today um, because the this would take too long. So I'm just really quickly going to swap out the player controller for the next player controller. And then in the next episode, we're definitely going to make um, our weapons, uh, or not our, just, well, our inventory items go to other slots, which is going to be pretty cool. Okay, so actually I changed my mind again. So instead of switching the player controller today, we're going to be changing the X and Y sensitivity based on whether we are um, in our inventory or not. I'm not really sure if this is going to work. Hopefully this does, and I hopefully won't have to cut this whole piece out. So we're going to go to our inventory script, and we're going to have to load our 
player uh, script here. So we're going to use Unity standard assets dot characters dot first person. And then we're going to have a private first person controller, FPS controller. And we'll find him in just a second, actually. Yeah, let's just find him here. So player controller. So FPS controller. FPS controller is equal to game object that find game object with tag player cool dot get component rigid body FPS controller. I do believe that's correct. That is not correct. Uh, rigid oh rigid body first person controller. Okay, I was close. And we have a problem. What is what what what? Oh right. Oops, my mistake. Rigid body, first person controller. Boom, problem solved. Now, I'm not really sure if we're gonna be able to access uh, the sensitivity. Hopefully we are. Let's just see if we could do that here in the start stuff. PS controller dot sense dot mouse. Could we do that, please? Dot mouse look dot. Yes, yes we can. Yes, happy days, okay. So we can access the sensitivity, which is great. So this will work. If it's shown, our X and Y sensitivity is going to equal to zero. And over here, we're gonna do a private float. Is that a float? I want to make sure it must be a float. Okay, so private float um, default X sensitivity or default sensitivity x that's a better thing and i'm going to do the same thing here so shift home paste and y okay and in start we're going to set these things so yeah default sensitivity x is equal to fps controller dot mouse dot x sensitivity is yeah so that's it and then we're going to do the same thing for y so FPS controller dot mouse dot Y sensitivity. That should be good. And we're gonna now set these to be their default X sensitivity and default Y sensitivity. Let's hope this works. Um, this kind of might be temporary. Um, the reason I say it'll be, actually I'm kind of thinking, if we don't swap the player controller, um, this is going to be permanent. And we, we might not swap the player controller. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll kind of have to think about that. So now, as you can see, finally, when we <laughs> open our inventory, um, our camera is not moving all over the place. So we're good. Um, finally, uh, that has been solved. Not too hard. So next episode, we're definitely going to get items to move from slot to slot rather than, you know, bouncing back to the regular slot as we do here. So you can see, oh, no, I want to put it here. But guess what? It's going to go right back to its first slot, which we really don't want because that's not how inventories in Rust work. So we're going to get on that next episode. Stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, Twitter, YouTube comment section, whatever, whatever you guys want to do, that's totally fine. Please subscribe for the latest updates and when I'll be uploading, you'll, you'll see that and have a good one.